Yo, what it do, man? This is Grindface and a the therapist, man. I'm Demetrius, and this is Simeon. We've been together for 28 years, married for 23, 22, but who's counting, man? I don't know, but this is episode 10, man. We're going to talk about showing your goods. Is this 10? Yeah, this 10. Showing your goods, y'all. Um, so then kick it off with showing your goods. Start start off with showing your goods. So we've been talking, and there's like a lot of robberies happening in California, and I'm hearing that they're you know, going, going all around the world or the country post pandemic. So this is my thing, right? Many times people will say, you know, a person was flexing. Or, Niggas was getting robbed every day. But go ahead. It wasn't how it is now though. Come on now. So people are saying like, oh, you know, they're flexing, they're showing off, you know, they're wearing stuff they shouldn't be wearing. But I think it's unfortunate that we're in a society today that it's like, you can't, where are the things you bought? But then where's the line when it becomes flexing or this is just what I pay for? The line, I, don't, I think it's been going on since a long time before social media. Because even, because we're going to go back to the song. You're going to you talk about robbery and I'm going to go take it to where rape. You know what I'm saying? Cause rape. Rape is the same thing where we in the guidelines of women showing their goods and a man feel like, since she's showing it, I have the right to take it. Okay, I want to know where you're going with this because I'm interested. Because it it, it goes down to people, okay, I got a nice nice chain on, Mm -hmm. and people just got this mindset, I have the right to take it. Mm -hmm. So it goes back from before the social media ages of people feeling like they have the right to take whatever belongs to you because they feel like you're showing it off. But people weren't walking into restaurants raping people in front of other people. Well, technically, no, but you know what I'm saying? They was date raping them, you know what I'm saying? Bill Cobb dropping them pills in there, you know what I'm saying? And taking the booty, you know what I'm saying? It was the same thing, the same element of, and that was a public place. So if you want to really dig down, it, it really goes deep of people taking what's not theirs. Hmm. So a mindset of entitlement? I but I just think post-pandemic. I think of laziness and don't want to put the work in and want the easy way out. You know what I'm saying? Want the easy way. Because even with that of date raping somebody and and getting, it's it's the easy way. Taking somebody, change, taking, stealing somebody property, it's the easy way. But why is it such a uh, sense of like a security measure now? Like even if, you know, people were getting raped, I didn't feel like if I walked out the house with maybe a tight fitted outfit that I would be raped. But now I'm walking out. You would be harassed. You, you, you'll be harassed. But you're speaking for me. I said, I've never felt walking out the house. Well, you ever walked around <laughs> with your booty cheeks out? But listen okay, to what I'm then. saying. I've never felt in like a form-fitted outfit that I would be in a position where someone would be trying to rape me, right? But now... And I never felt in a position now for somebody who won't take my jewelry. You never felt like that? no. So what's the point we making? I don't. I don't. But you're not being honest, though. No, I, I'm not. I've never had the fear that oh, somebody gonna snatch my chain and run. No, 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 no. I'm not saying the fear. I'm saying right now, post pandemic, you're very cautious of what you wear, how you move. Not what I wear, how I move. You're very cautious of. But that doesn't fall back to robberies of people taking i ain't worried about people taking shit okay from so me. what are you I'm worried about well you know i guess i'm worried about somebody taking my life oh okay but, but, not, but, but you know what I'm that's saying? why okay so the point of them getting to the point of taking your life is because they're trying to take a material possession from you not, not necessarily got to be from materialistic some people just be mad envy i mean it don't got to be but it all something. boils down to even the envy based on something material right no, because shit. I, I mean, I take it back in, in school. I had a lot of beef because people wanted you. You was a material. Okay, but we're not like, talking it's about envy. that. Back envy then. doesn't got to resolve in material of what I got. It's just people just jealous. Period. Okay, but yeah, but back to my point. I've never. We have two total different views. Apparently, we'll agree to disagree. I've never felt like. Um, Maybe I should rethink what I'm wearing, what I'm doing, 
how I'm doing it, where I'm going. Even though you had those thoughts before, it's like magnified. You know what I mean? I don't know if I should be here, there, or anywhere based on what's going on. I think when you change your lifestyle, you be more cautious of that's things. true. You know what I'm saying? Because when true. you was the the the, I want to say what when you was the 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 demon in the streets, they they it, it seemed normal. But when you you know what I'm saying that angel and leaving that peace, peaceful life, now everything you cautious. She's sidetracked, y'all. She on her phone texting. <laughs> I'm, you know I'm okay, saying? so She's my niece my... is helping me. That's fine, but we in the middle of okay. a job here. It's not a job. This is fun to me. My niece is helping me find a costume for her mother's okay. birthday costume party. You can wait for a minute. But I just don't want her to have her. Because you didn't even listen to what I just said. I didn't. What you exactly. said. Exactly. Because we going to move on because, <laughs> hey, it's pointless. But look. The point is, is it all right? I forgot the topic of the show, man. Um, no, showing okay. your goods. Like, is so it this showing is the your thing goods? too. So it's then I've heard people that they don't like to show their stuff because you they work, don't. You work hard and you you're afraid to show your shit. That's crazy. But I didn't even get to finish my sentence. But okay, um, some people say they don't like to show their stuff because they don't want to feel like they're bragging and. Where do we get to a line of, you know, it's okay for me to show the things that I work for, but now we're in a time where. No, I think that's an insecurity of people, because if I'm showing off my Gucci shoes that I just bought. Showing off or just wearing. Okay. Not even showing off. I'm just showing. Let me get to a point. Like post a a picture of my Gucci shoes. Let me get to a point. But you wouldn't have a problem if I posted a picture of my Shaq shoes. You know I don't what I'm saying? Even think because people anymore, feel like they? if they can't get it, now he's flexing. No. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but- so let me say this. I'm glad you said that. And I think we normalize our own experiences, right? So if you go, it's funny because if I go to certain settings, I'll see a kid in Gucci shoes, but this is their everyday norm. So where you somebody's looking like, oh, they kids got Gucci. This is what they do. So they're not looking at what they have on as, oh, this Status. is something. Exactly. Yes. And I think sometimes when we see material possessions, because that's not our norm, we automatically think a person is being flashy or they're showing off or basically they're trying to showcase something because they're materialistic. But this may be their, but this may be their everyday norm. This is their lifestyle. So even in that, like, how do we get to a place where what's the difference between flexing and just doing your everyday life? I think that the difference of flexing is like, <laughs> yo, check this out, man. I got a thousand dollars right here, and y'all niggas can't get this. But some that's, people probably think when you on. when you putting it, smugging it in people's face, that's what I consider flexing. But if you just took a picture and you, know, you didn't say nothing, but it, I think it's part of your ego with it. Now it, it's the mindset of you having, you know what I'm saying? Like, are we talking about? In real life, or are we talking about in social media? In real media? life, real life reflects in social media. Like, you know what I'm saying? You out there throwing money and you, you oh, y'all, y'all wish y'all could get this. Y'all but what can't if do they this. You, you, put, you putting people down. Put it that way. Putting people down, I think, is a way. But what if they're reflecting. triggering emotion? What if they're being you? But it's, shit, I guess that's how they move. I mean, shit, I don't know. Because, like, you post things in the past of things you purchased. Yeah, but I never put people down. I show people how you can do it. Look, y'all, y'all could do this like this. Bam. Check this out. I give information that you could obtain it yourself. I don't shit on people. It's a difference. Okay. Are you going to share with the business aspect of why you show these things? No, because I don't feel like arguing with people why the business aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? That's not this topic of the show. Okay. Because people, all oh, this, this, and that, that's not a Somebody was arguing with you? That. Yeah, you know, people. Really? Yeah. So Do they, are they business owners? I don't know what they are, but yeah. you know, we yeah. got time. You know what I'm saying? I know what my, my moves is. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's hot in here, though. Um. So for me, you know, just being where I'm at, like a business owner, different things like that. Like now I'm kind of watching more, paying attention to surroundings, you know, not to say that I'm a target, but the thing is right now, you don't know who's a target. And so do you feel safe with everything that's going on? Do I feel safe? Yeah, I feel safe. I don't, I don't move, I don't move in certain situations, I, I'm, but I've been like that my whole life. 
So yeah, you're a homebody. You know so, so you I'm really not, don't I'm go nowhere. I'm not about to move and and jump and be. I'm not a person that want to be seen. I got. I don't have to be at an event because I want to be seen. That's never been me. No, it's not. So I'm low key all, all the time. So now people can get an understanding of why you don't want to be in places when you're invited many times. Yeah, because it's boring to me. And then the risk factor is too high because shit, well, I'm going to risk my life to be bored. That well, that's, yeah, that, that, like, that, that I, makes it, a whole lot of sense. Like I, not putting yourself in a position to basically, because somebody asked you to come when you don't really even want to be yeah, there. That's not my get down. Now you, I'm, I'm a traveler. I love to travel. You might catch me in a different country or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I'll come. You know what I'm saying? But like going to the club, never been my scene. That's not my lifestyle. But that's a single scene. So it shouldn't be your lifestyle. But what else we talking about? What other events people have? Mm, I don't know. You know people invite you. I don't know what they invite you to. I've seen people invite you to different things. It has not, it's not always necessary, it's necessarily a club. And you just don't want to go. But is it because of the risk factor? In all the situations, everyday life is risk. I don't know this after pandemic, you making the risk is being no, risk before that. Shit. You're not being realistic. I since, am being realistic. Since this the pandemic, you. things have heightened. People wasn't robbing people in broad to daylight you, and emptying this is, out this their clips going in broad on. daylight. It just wasn't broadcast because everybody wasn't on social media. Social media is a new thing. This has been going on since the 80s. Okay. Social We're media now that everybody got a camera now is being seen daily. We're going to agree to disagree. That, that's the difference. Everybody got access to be seen stuff. It's been going on. Not to the extent in the way it's done. Okay. People act like they, they, they're not scared of penitentiary chances. They never was. Nah, it's, it, it's different. Okay, it's but go different. on, because you see it the one way, I see it the yeah, other we way. Gonna, we, we, we day, gonna it's agree been to, going on shit. We're we going to agree to disagree. Damn, However... With material possessions, do you think it's, it's smart to show people everything that you have? No, nah, you should keep stuff hidden. I mean, shit. Same thing with, um, with a lot of shit. It's no is it hidden or is it just not? Not hidden. Don't need to, to expose it. I mean, unnecessarily. I mean, shit. So what you're saying is basically, if this is my everyday norm and the people that are around me every day see it. I don't but know. This just feel like you interviewing me or some shit. Like, <laughs> shit. Like, it's not even a conversation, like a damn interview or some shit. God damn. Hold on. This is the crazy <laughs> thing. Turn Y'all got to watch the podcast. Or some shit. Like, because God the damn. last podcast, shit. I said something about myself. He said I was stroking my ego, right? Now I'm, I'm trying to, you know, put him in the forefront. Now it's the interview. It's like I can't win. Because you, you, you're not, I don't you're not conversating. You, 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 you interrogating me. You're not, you interrogating me. Like, how that's am how I, I feel like. I'm feeling like attacked and shit. Like, how? Like, because I'm asking you a you question. To, like, yeah, you're coming on back and back and back. And like, damn, <laughs> shit. Hold on. <laughs> like, okay. Shit. I don't I'm feel like it's the risk factor. I feel like the risk factor has always been the same. Bottom line, I just feel like now people could see it, and now people are more scared today. That's how I feel. Niggas was getting killed every day, B. Oh, don't say it like that. You know that. what I'm saying? Don't it's say like, it like it, 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 it's, it's, it's been. I mean, damn, you can tell your baby when he's growing up, motherfuckers chasing people down the street, shooting at them and everything else. But you've never seen it on the internet because there wasn't no internet around. People getting beat up every day. You don't see it because there wasn't no internet around. Everybody got a camera now, so now you see it, everything. So that's why people think it's extreme crazy. No, it been crazy. My opinion. Yeah, I just think it got worse. But go on. Uh, yeah, I, I just think it got worse. Showing your goods. Is it a good thing to show your goods? I think, I, you know what? I used to think it was inspiration. But I... I it do inspire some people. And but I mean you know it's always okay. It's always been insp inspiration and envy because it, it inspired me. Ways. I'm a type. Of, I see yeah, something. I get, inspired. I, get inspired, I get inspired. Like oh, he came from where I came from. I could do it too. Now I'm gonna be on. But not even looking at the material possessions is is what inspires me. It's the growth. It's the elevation. Um, the goals, accomplishing things. Yeah, that yeah. My biggest person that inspired me was Nipsey Hussle because I I sat, sat there and I seen I seen him from the beginning. When I used to listen to his mixtapes and niggas be like, oh man, don't be bumping that. That nigga from 6 old, forget that fool, whoop the whoop. And he never switched up to fit in to, to, get, to get accepted. He always stayed true to himself and look what he did. He accomplished many things. So, you know what I'm saying? It's like. But I think the beauty of being authentic is you reach people that can 
relate to you because you're being yourself. That's that's why I say I like Cardi B because she's authentically her without apology. Exactly, and it's, and that's a lot of things people don't understand. If, if you, it's only one you. So if you master being you, it, it's a great thing. I don't you know even think you even have to master being you. Just be you. Yeah. I don't think that's something a skill set you have to acquire or think about. I think when we think about it is because we're trying to figure out what other people are going to accept. But I never walk in a room. Oh, oh how do I be Sania? That should just be automatic. Well, yeah, a lot of people don't got that like that. They they try to be, fit be, in. No, and, it's and not because they, they don't, don't know how to be, be themselves. them. They want to be accepted. And yeah, that's it's the bad not thing. because they don't know how to be them. They want to be someone else. But envy and um, inspiration has always been, it's always been a two-sided situation when you talk about growth, you talk about goals, you talk about material possessions. But in this time, you know, do I want to be an inspiration with my material possessions? But it's not. You keep going to material. It's, it's more than material because even with you being a good person, a good spiritual person, people get pissed off about that. True. You know what I'm saying? So you, let's take material out the so window. So then what do you let, let's, elaborate? Let's, being a good person. If you go around, I heard somebody like, I can't trust that person. They, they, they too happy all the time. Like what kind of dumb shit is that? This person is always happy. You got a problem with them because they they too happy. You know what I'm saying? It's like so. It no matter what, is somebody gonna have an issue with something? That is, but to me, with the entitlement, just to think you can have it because somebody else is, does like because someone else does is crazy. You know what I mean? Why you can't just be okay with the next man winning? Why aren't we okay with the next man winning? People is okay with the next man winning. They just gonna take your shit. But I feel like it's more people <laughs> that are not okay with the next man winning than the. I think it's more people that are envious than because they lazy. Lazy call. I, don't know, I, I think, think it's laziness. laziness call I don't, no, I don't. I'm not because you can have somebody that's pounding the pavement. Look, spell lazy. And now envious is the spell it backwards. The same thing, lazy. You're just making up stuff. But anyways. <laughs> Somebody so, wrote it down to try it. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but you got people that's pounding the pavement. That's really working hard. And I, I've seen it. I've had conversations with people in the past that were mad at me. And I, I think they couldn't fathom, like, how did I surpass them? But they feel like they've been doing so much more than me. Not even knowing what I've been doing behind the scenes. And so... They really have in their mind, like, I'm doing this, 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 and this. How come I can't have that? How come I can't do that? How so, come so, I can't have that car? How so, come I can't have that marriage? So what did they take from you? What What do you mean? Well, they didn't take anything from me. Well, I'm just saying mindset. Showing the goods. I mean, and then people taking what, what's not yours. I don't understand why you are like, Tunnel vision, one mind track. Like oh, I don't know. the Cause... whole podcast has to be one specific idea. Like so no, you jumping all over the place because it goes align. It aligns to what we're talking about. It's not like I'm. But this is why I just be like, oh my goodness, because <laughs> you think, man. So when we do these podcasts, right? He'll be like, it's this topic. Stay on this topic. But I don't it's say like stay on this topic. I just said this is the broad. Uh, you'll bring the, it back, but uh, it's uh, like topic. Okay, but we don't have to. How 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 many ways you gonna say that? People taking things and good, like how we it's said a whole that. lot of ways people show off stuff. And, and, okay, but talk and, about and, it. And basically, talk because you, know, you know a little bit more than people, me. Talk about people. People, I'm um, showing off their kids. You know what I'm saying? It's like what's wrong with showing off your kids? I'm not understanding that. Because people with ugly kids gonna have a fucking problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, they all be showing, they all be posting pictures of her kids. What you said, look at, look at her kids. It's so all these, wait a minute. Let's be oh realistic. My God. Be realistic. You <laughs> when you have pretty kids, people with ugly kids get pissed <gasps> off. You know what I'm saying? And but I like, don't think the person with it, the kids is just like oh, I'm say just saying say who? Say who? What You're I not see? showing off your kids because they they cute. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like let's let's not be so you showing oh. off your kids because what you if somebody's your kids not, is cute. But what if somebody's not showing off their kids? And but that's, wait, wait, and wait, that's wait, the wait. same thing of me wearing my jewelry. I'm not showing but, it off. I'm but, just wearing a million dollars let, worth of jewelry. But let me say this. What's wrong with showing off your kids? There's nothing wrong. 
ask the person that's mad about the. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Apparently, they mad because you keep showing your cute kids. What's you know what wrong saying? with What's wrong with showing off your jewelry, though? It's, it's, not, it's not. That's what I'm saying. It's nothing wrong with it, but it's always somebody out there that's going to be envy and pissed off that you're showing off your house, your cars, your your jewelry, your kids, your wife, your husband. It's always somebody going to be like you showing off. No, I'm not showing off. I'm just showing my life. My life what I Let enjoy. me ask you this. At some point, should wisdom kick in, though? Like, at what point should wisdom kick in? I don't know, because I don't be envy of people. I don't know. I'm not. Listen, that's, I'm not. At one at what point should I mean now you oh my goodness should wisdom kick in to say you know what maybe just do you ever sit and think because I do like I'll post something like that picture with the with my bathing suit on I was fully covered I had like a top two piece with like the bottoms wasn't revealing I had on my um, cover up and then and then the nigga hit you up in the morning talking about let me take you out to breakfast right. But that wasn't my intent. But apparently, I, he thought you was trying to show off. But I removed it, even though I don't think I did anything wrong. But at what point do you think, like, because there's times I'm about to post something, and I'm like, mm, like, what message is this sending? What, you know, even though that's not my intent, if that's how not could your it be intent, perceived? then that's not your intent. But now you're trying to conform to what people gonna think. Listen to what I'm saying. I said. Do you ever use wisdom, right? Wisdom does not have to yes, be. Yes, I use wisdom on everything I do. So I don't get what you're asking. Because is there ever a time that you want to post something and you think like. No, because I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. Oh it's not about what other people think. Do you ever have a moment where you're just like, I'm not going to post that? Um, No. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no. Okay. Now, well, okay, let's go. Once my um car, my car window got busted, I I said, okay, I'm not gonna post my car, the kind of car I drive around no more. So is that not wisdom? That's with okay, I, I guess that's wisdom because now I don't broadcast my um G Wagon I'm rolling around town in or my Ferrari. You know what I'm saying? Don't need for people to know what color Ferrari I have. He's Shit. not in no G Wagon or Ferrari. Let's just stop be completely it. God clear. Damn it. No, stop capping and lying because you're right. not. My Honda Civic. Yes. So we not go sit here and lie, like because you're not in a G Wagon or a Ferrari. We're not even about the flex like we are because we're not. I'm talking. They came out my mouth. You're not in a Ferrari or G wagon, so yeah, we're not gonna. Somebody either. hating. I'm no, trying I'm, to I'm speak it into truth. existence, I'm and she over the here truth. trying to knock me. No, I'm telling but no, the truth. yeah. So I guess you could take that as wisdom, as a move. I move a different way, but it wasn't a point of what people gonna think. Like shit. You keep saying what people is going to think. You your mind keep going there. I said, do you ever use wisdom? Does wisdom ever come into play? You just said yes, but before you're like, oh, I don't care what people think. That's not even my mindset. I'm saying I've been in situations like that. So I was just wondering if you were in situations like that where even after, because I didn't even see anything wrong, and you're you the type of husband, if I was on some thirst trap type stuff you'd be like yeah nah you're not you're not the type of husband that's gonna be like oh yeah post that when you're revealing that's not you so when i posted it it was clear to post right nothing revealing nothing disrespectful nothing thirst trapping so i thought it was fine well, apparently it was a thirst trap for somebody but but then when he contacted me i'm like let me rethink this not to say that i'm worried about what he thinks but it, i had to rethink like Am I giving off the wrong impression? I had to self-reflect. Even though that wasn't my intent at all, I still had to think, like, should I have posted this? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to understand the point you're trying to get to. but <laughs> Because I think sometimes you should think, regardless if you're not doing anything wrong or not, sometimes you should self-reflect and say, why... You know, should I post this or kind of? But, but then you saying like, okay, I can't do this because that's the, not the what way, I'm saying. The that's way they gonna saying. react, you know what I'm saying? That's so it's not like, what I'm saying. It's like basically you saying like, let's say, okay, the woman's about to go to the club. Mm -hmm. Should I wear these shorts with my booty cheeks out because everybody's gonna basically try to pursue me? You know what I'm saying? But you should wear what you want to wear 
So she should wear her booty cheeks up? If that's what how you feel, but it shouldn't be it shouldn't change of basically where you're going, how people react, because you it should be the same thing. I'm confused. What? It doesn't give a person a right to basically no, 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 there, no, 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 You know what I'm no, saying? No, it didn't give him a right to be disrespectful. The fact that he knew I was married and it was, we were strictly business, I don't even know why he, I was like caught off guard. And that's my point. So it's like, he felt like basically it was a door opening for him. Well, let me say you know this what I'm because so we're just like, assuming, because I don't even know if the bathing, the, 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 the Bathing Man, suit shit was, <laughs> had shit, to do please. with that. That's that just shit, our that assumption. That shit was. He said, I, I seen you on, on Facebook. Show some, yeah, he he was. And then I know he was about to get fucked up. But um, I grew very a lot and just been patient. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to be honest. When he said that. So we, it's early morning. It's like, what, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. And he calls. And did I have a phone on speaker? Yeah. I think I, yeah. So typically when like. A male or a female that, you know what I mean, that we ain't cool with like that, or, you know, I'm putting up on, yeah, it wasn't, yeah, on speaker so he could hear. And when the dude said what he said, I was just a shock. I was just like, <laughs> but I'm just like, she was like a deer in headlights <laughs> and shit, like, oh shit, oh shit. Because I, I didn't know how you was going to react or respond. And I'm just like, just stuck. Like, did this dude just. And this is how I know. Mind, this is how I know I grew so much as a man. I just sat there and see her reaction. <laughs> like, what, what the fuck you about to do? <laughs> I, but the thing that was so crazy was I'm just like, I, I, I'm just like, I hope he is not thinking something because I know I would have been like, what? Like, why is she comfortable calling you, asking you out to breakfast? So I, I was like, okay, where did this even come from? So when the co conversation came up, like you see me on social media, blah, blah, blah. And I started going, so then I start going through my Because she doesn't like, post that much. So basically the last post she posted was a swimsuit post. But so it wasn't even provocative though at all. So I'm just like, hmm, Okay. This is definitely not the type of attention I'm trying to give off. And it wasn't even about him. You know what I mean? Like, I had talked to my cousin about it. She was like, you shouldn't have took it off. Like, there wasn't anything inappropriate about the picture. And maybe I shouldn't have. I don't know. Just for me, it was just like, mm, this is not the type of energy I'm trying to give out. This is not the type of vibe that I'm trying to send. But I feel like the fact that you knew I was married, I don't even know why you would even ask that anyways. You know, so even going back to what we were talking about, I just think it goes back to people are entitled and if they want to move on something, I just feel like they're going to do it regardless. Exactly. I mean, and it's your, it's your position to hold your position. I mean, shit. I mean, even with somebody trying to rob you, is you going to, if you're going to give it up or are you going to hold your, your, hold, hold your ground? Ain't either, nothing. Ain't either way, it's going to be a consequence on, it, on what decision you pick. No, because you got insurance on your stuff. So, I mean, if you take it, it's insured. I mean, some people don't. I mean, you know I don't know saying? how you, if you, if you got that much. You, come on now. You know, you got, and you your got stuff is dollar, not insured. You got that's million, crazy. You walking around with a million dollar worth of jewelry. And, and you don't, don't got have a house. Nah, but if you. Like, come on now. If you yeah. got that much jewelry and you don't have insurance on it, like, that's just crazy. A lot of people don't know about getting your stuff appraised and getting insurance. You know, yeah. Let's let's y'all up, man. So when you get a piece of jewelry, you could go to a jewelry store and get you an appraisal letter, which you could take to insurance and they will give you, uncover your jewelry. So if it get lost or stolen, basically you come with a police report and they will break you off with a check. Yeah, because it, it's, 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 it's not worth it. That's why every time we get certain mm -hmm. things, we go get insurance on it. So I'm definitely not living, like losing my life. You can have it, but in some instances, they're not, they taking it in, taking your life, you know? And that's part of the, the envy. You think so, so that's, that's, I think, yeah, cause that comes with deep rooted hate. Cause it's, it's a difference of robbing somebody and robbing and killing them. Cause now it's, it, it gets personal. You think it's personal? Yeah. When you kill somebody, it's mostly come personal. And I think that's where personal come in when people you know what i'm saying and that's how you tell on yourself because it's shit you kill a certain person person a certain way they know it's so a when they bust out your window that was personal 
Yeah, shit this wasn't just random. But this shit. is the thing. I don't know how you can have a beef with somebody you don't know. Envy. No, but that's, I'm I'm being bottom. serious. I don't understand how you can have I'm talking about the window situation. Envy. I don't know anybody else's situation and really don't Envy. care about anybody's situation. My prayers goes out to whoever has lost a loved one in these situations that we were referring to, but I'm specifically talking about when your car window got busted. Because clearly we don't have real life beefs or issues with people in real life. Like we don't have where problems where it's like, oh, I don't get along with this person. Or, you know, if I see this person, that's like we don't live that type of lifestyle. So it's weird and crazy to me when a person cannot know someone and not like them and never had a conversation in person or seen them in real life. That's crazy to me to the point where you want to bust somebody's window out. Because people see you on social media and they feel like they do know you. And that's in yeah. that mentally we t- okay. We talking about mental health issues or what I don't was know. that? I just said what I just said. I don't because know. that because is a mental health for real. People because will watch how could you on your think social media you now they know, feel like okay. I know that person. It's like you know how you you went to school or you work with so I hate when people be like, Oh, I know her. You do not know me. You know my name. Just because you worked at the same location or we probably been in the same setting before, you don't know me. It's a difference between knowing who someone is. No, of. That knowing their name and knowing them. So there's no way I'm going to sit on social media and think I know a person. I say all day long, I don't know them. I don't know anything that they're saying. I tell people all the time, everything I see on social media, I believe is fake. I don't even, I don't even put thought in it to be true. I don't believe anything on social media. So I'm not going to look at someone and be like, oh, you know what? I got a problem with you. I'm about to bust your window. Like, it just cannot be that serious. No, I'll probably put them in BRP. Who knows? They probably listening too, too, right? But now. okay, but this is even a and I don't even understand if you don't like somebody why you would listen and like that listen is crazy to, to me. I don't know. If I don't like you or what you're doing, I'm not gonna be trying to keep up with what you're doing. It's like this is not keeping up with the Kardashians. Like, I don't care what you're doing. So if you even if you're listening and you don't like us, like that's just weird. Why would you want to listen and be entertained that's from people a, you don't like? That'd be a good interview to have somebody that's a hater just on interview and expose why they do the hating shit they do. That would be an interesting, you know and, and but like if they were honest, of, yeah, if they honest were honest, like from, from their, their point, point of view, view like, why do you basically want to engage and follow somebody you don't like? Yeah. Because when we came out, Turner's, and the window was busted, I was just like, and I, I I keep telling him like it had to be God, it because yeah, I could him. not. I was in Turner's. I was getting my gun, and I couldn't put the, I couldn't put it in what safety couldn't. Yeah, what? she couldn't cock it back. <laughs> 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 and and so the, the gunman was not going to let her walk out, out the, the door without it's her it. seeing her. She handled the gun. So we went to the <laughs> car. We had just went to the car to get the what? The registration yeah. to show the address or something? Yeah. And that, there wasn't anything wrong with the car. So we go and I'm like, this is crazy. Like, I cannot. Like, this is so weird. So now, like, I'm getting like, feeling pressured to have to, you know, put it in safety. So I'm like, maybe this ain't, this gun is too big. Maybe blah, 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 blah. We in there for like another 15, 20 minutes. We walk out, boom, the cars, the windows busted. And I told him, I said, everything happens for a reason. And I believe that wholeheartedly. I said, because had we walked out in the midst of your windows being busted out as a man, your pride and your ego wouldn't have let you walk away. So how would that have that situation have turned out? Oh, he would have got popped. And that's even crazy. You gonna pop somebody over a window? Because man, you never know. He probably was in a group of motherfuckers, and every, you never know how the situation would have unfolded. Yeah, because like, you know people tend to try to act it, tough when yeah. they in front of people, which is very annoying to me. Yeah, so you never know. The how fact the situation, that you will bust somebody's yourself. window out—that's so cowardly. So it's like you then don't that, even know this man. Throw this the soda on the car. <laughs> yeah, so they but, put, put a big boulder through the back window. And then threw a McDonald's soda, like 
on the car. And I'm like, you have to, how could you be that But, but the mad? thing is, the funny thing, shout out to um, my insurance because it was fixed that, what, that Monday, two days later without no deductible. So it was, it's like. But it really? was just, it was, okay, it was frustrating <laughs> to me. You know what I mean? Because we was on our way after that to go to my, to celebrate my grandfather for his birthday. So it was very frustrating to me because in my mind, I'm just like, you know, and I know everybody's not going to be me, but you know, sometimes you just like, dang, like you bust the stranger's window. And this is the thing. Most people are probably y'all listening like, well, how you know it wasn't, we don't have beef in real life. Like we don't have, we don't live the type of lifestyle where we have issues with people. We don't really interact with a lot of people. You know what I mean? Like there's a certain group of people, our tribe who we deal with it's family. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there would never be a situation where somebody would call my phone or his phone and be like, such and such said that like, we don't live that type of lifestyle. So for me, it was only common sense that it was somebody off the internet. Oh yeah, it was. The nigga messaged me and said, Merry Christmas. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. But he didn't want to own it. But that even ties into you showing your stuff, you know, and somebody feel, I mean, he didn't take your car, but he busted your window out. But why can't you, which I would never, I tell people all the time, I would never have a custom car. I it was all my marketing. Sister, it was all marketing strategy. At yeah, but I would it never did, did have a did. custom car. I told my sister when she used to have her grind face pink Magnum and uh, people would call me all the time. Hey, I just seen you at such and such. Hey, I'm like, that's not my car. That's my sister car. And I told her, I was like, is your car is nice? But the fact that people can locate you everywhere you're at, and I'm getting all these calls because people think it's my car, that's not good. So I've always told them, like, I would never have a custom car. But that also go back to uh, showing your goods and why can't you have a custom car? And it's like, but then that's when wisdom comes. Well, in. I guess if you should have multiple cars if you got a custom car, basically. And see that that time where we went to that, I don't mean I wasn't. We were, I was expecting. Basically, the run in and run out. Right. You know what I'm saying? We never expected to stay in that store that long. And that's where, because normally when I drive my custom car, it's it's moving in and out. In that situation, yeah, it wasn't planned to be sitting out there that long and in the store that long. But you know what? Shout out to God, though, because I'm always going to give God glory because he keeps us because I know we wasn't supposed to walk out that store at that time. And honestly, I'm going to be honest. I don't walk with fear because I believe God will protect me and whatever. I think it's a difference. I think some some situations you put yourself in and then other situations you, you don't have a choice, like the Turner situation, but God always is going to make sure you're straight. <coughs> yeah, but... Ain't no but with that. Ain't no but with yeah, that. Yeah, well, I'm just... I'm but, nigga. I'm switching the whole conversation. Nigga, I'm not your nigga. But look... A lot of people probably watch my social media and be like, I'll be showing off. Which no, I, I no, people don't. have said that. And it's, just, it's crazy. This is my life. I just show and I'm like, how I'm living. You know what I'm saying? But that's not even your personality, though. That's not, and, and that's the thing why I say social media is fake. Because you look at social media and you assume you know people on a certain level. But it's like, some people are entertainers. Some people are content creators. So, with, they don't understand that concept. Yeah. With me, what you see, what you get, because I'm not, that ain't my lane. But you have to understand that everything that you, oh, as a matter of fact. Ooh, idea popped in the head. <laughs> when you and Dante with the whole hot sauce thing, which you basically, uh, I was so annoyed. I was so irritated. I'm going to tell you why I was irritated. So Demetrius and my cousin, they did a hot sauce video acting like he gave the, my niece some hot sauce and her mom got mad, right? So then the next day- All scripted and hit well, yeah, one My cousin took it up a notch and basically made it seem like he was texting him and they was about to get into a fight. Now, I don't care about people. I don't care about people that don't know us, right? Because they don't know if this is true or not. Where I got annoyed is family members calling, arguing with family members that it's real. Oh, this is like, y'all ain't tapped in to buy a book. 
probably ain't going to tap in to watch the podcast, ain't going to tap in to support one thing, but you making phone calls and arguing about a situation because in my mind, you wanted it to be true. And I'm going to tell you why I think I want it to be true. Because there's so many positive things that our family and their family, shout out to the Colliers, that we do. And it's not a topic of discussion, but we travel together a lot. We do a lot of things together a lot. And people hate on their lifestyles in our lifestyles and the fact that we have lifestyles together. And so when they thought that an issue was there to basically rift that relationship. Oh, you, I, I was just like, this is crazy. Wow. Everybody thought I was tripping, but I, I saw it from a different point of view. When you don't tap in for the positive and you calling around asking people that Spreading they see the it negative and shit. Yeah. arguing with people that you know is true when the people that know it's not true telling you it's not true and you want it to be true, to me that's your mindset. And it, and it kind of revealed people's hands to me and I kind of look at them different because it showed me you want us to lose. You because we do so many positive things. Y'all not on the airwaves talking about that. But the moment two of the family members in the family that's doing well for themselves and rocking together, growing and moving up together, that's like the topic of discussion. It had me on fire. It had me comedy. <laughs> it had you comedy. It was funny to me. Because people, people all, and that's the thing. People feeds off negativity. It's negative shit is quicker to spread through every everywhere than positive shit. Because it's like, I don't know. I don't even understand why. You know what I'm saying? Why are people so quick to spread the negative gossip bullshit because without even knowing without do. even knowing the facts. But at the at the same time, nobody called me. Oh, well, okay. You know this, is the this is the nobody thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. Nobody was going to, nobody called me. Nobody called me because they weren't going to call me. One thing about me, I don't do drama on my phone. I don't do negativity. Don't even call me with it. So they knew certain people in the family to call, but it got back to me. You know what I mean? They knew who to keep it with thinking it wouldn't get out that it was a conversation, but it got back to me. And they arguing with people that it's real. Well, shout out to Tycoon because he 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 went about it the positive way and was trying to reunite some shit. So yeah, he ain't he even blood related. That's yeah, our cousin's he, boyfriend. Yeah, he was on. Yeah, he was the only one that hit me up. Like, man, what's wrong with y'all? Yeah, like y'all tripping like on some positive stuff, and that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes people will see your lifestyle and they're either gonna be inspired or they're gonna be envious. But why should we or why should a person have to not live their life based on what somebody may do, may think, or may feel. I think it's a new thing that social media should have is like levels to some shit. Like if you ain't experienced, it remind me of that movie. Yeah, you. I, I know that. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like I forgot the it, name of the movie. I, I did too, but it was like a certain access to pass this point because you know what I'm saying. Because, but they would say that they. But some people would be like, "Oh, the rich, the rich, the poor, the poor." But this is really what I believe. This is really what I believe. And this is why I don't like to live around people that don't work. And I'm going to be honest with you. Because if you don't have anything to do all day, you don't have anything the the Productive. You don't have anything productive to do. But an idle mind is the devil's workshop. And that's, tr that's so true. Statistics, ah, statistics have shown a person that doesn't have goals or work or any tasks to do for the day will be depressed. Because their life is just sitting around. And I've seen people that do it. These are the most negative people because you don't have anything to do with your time. Yes. And so when you don't have anything to do with your time, either you're going to become creative or you're going to become destructive. And so I don't like to live in certain areas where it's people that don't have anything to do. And it's no knock to anybody. But if you sit around and the people next door is at work all day, now you sitting here how to think about how to get in their house. But if we all... On the block, everybody in the neighborhood has the same stuff. Why in the world would I want to break into your house? True. If I need access to get over here and everybody got, and people get mad about stuff like this, but it's true. You know, when it's like, oh, they moving into the neighborhood, you get mad, but it's true. I'm not saying everyone is like that, right? But it's like, if you're not productive and or don't have anything to do with your time, you can only be destructive. What you going to do? 
Oh, you asking a question? <laughs> I don't know what you, I don't know because I'm He looked like he just hanging on every word. Like he had a conference. If y'all can see his face right now. I'm listening. No, no, no. It's so funny. It's so funny. He's so passionate. You throwing your fingers around his shit. Like, whoop, 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 whoop. Like, goddamn. Like she over here game banging and shit. It don't look like I'm game banging. The thing is, it's so funny. It took me back to the first time I threw a conference. He's videotaping, right? It's the first time I had a seminar. So I thought my own seminar was speaking. He's watching me so intense that he forgot he was videotaping and was just stuck. It reminded me of that, that moment right now. I was now. listening. Shit. No, he was just, man, I wish y'all had a visual. Like, he forgot he was the other I person forget. on the podcast. I was listening. <laughs> shit, I'm listening. Y'all all know, if y'all listen to previous podcasts, he does not listen. He cut me off at any chance he gets. Because you was it, hooping it and you, your no. body moving, your neck was turning, your fingers was <laughs> throwing up. Like, shit, she, she's she really trying to deliver this message. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm like, okay, shit, get it. No. <laughs> like, get it. Like, if y'all can shit. see his face, though, like, like, I basically threw it back at him for him shit. to say something. And he was just stuck. Like, he was hanging on to every word. Like, you would have thought he was at a conference. No, that was funny. Like, dang, that was funny. I wish I could see myself and I'm she looking because you had me like you were straight entertaining. Be productive around her. She don't like the non-productive people. Like, shit. She just opened a whole <laughs> can of passion on their ass and like, <laughs> like okay. Oh, if you could have seen your face, though, that was so calm. You was just like stuck like, oh. Uh, yeah, so yeah. I, I agree because if you if you're not doing nothing with your time, you 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 plotting and scheming. You know what I'm saying? Like that one show we rap rap girls or something, um, seducing scheming <laughs> shit. I don't think that show is a good show. <laughs> Shout out to Issa Rae, that's uh, a good show. So no, seducing but, scheme. You just uh, sitting around trying to uh, um plotting scheme. I mean, I ain't, I've been around that time before. But everybody, you know what I'm no, 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 like, no, no, everybody's not plotting and scheme to rob, but. If you're sitting with your thoughts too long and you're not being productive, I guarantee you those thoughts are going to be negative. You're probably going to be on social media comparing yourself to other people. You're going to be on social like media everybody's showing being off envious just, of yeah. other people. Yeah, we yes. got family members, to be honest, that see us on social media. They won't engage in anything. Let it be something negative, though. They there. <laughs> Wide eyes open shit. Some people, I didn't even know they was following me to certain stuff happen. I'm like, wait a minute, you you follow me? Because they it's, it, and it, it's a telltale sign. Oh, you show up for this? But all the positive you see. And so if a person is not being productive, you're going to look at other people in that way. That's why I don't focus my life on looking at other people. I want everybody to win. But that's not my focus. My focus is not watching you and what you're doing. My focus is on being a better me. Bottom line. But I'm saying, like, I don't, even celebrities, people think I'm, I don't really, I don't follow celebrities. I don't care to. And it's not to say... I don't, you know, admire or I'm not happy. I'm happy for them. But what you're doing in this point in your life or whatever you're doing, that doesn't benefit or affect me. But once I be consumed with it, then it's like, oh, what is this person? I don't care what this person is doing. And I think a lot of times people sit on social media and that's what they're doing. When you don't have anything to do. Well, be, yeah, social media is the new TV. Yeah, and you know you what know kills what me? I'm going to keep saying People are like, TV. I don't watch TV. Like no, but show me how many hours you've been on social media. Yeah, that is your TV. TV. So they, they say it like, it's, it's oh yeah, I don't I don't watch TV. Like, you know, I've accomplished something. Show me how many hours you've been on social media. If my social media gets past 30 minutes a day, that's a problem for me. And I monitor it too. That's a problem. And I'm here to entertain you. So follow my social media. No, oh, you want them on all day, huh? Yeah. I just on. can't be a Give consumer me no watch like hour, that. Every, I don't knock nobody that is, watch, but I, I just can't paid. be. I can't. I need the consumers so my pockets keep be. growing. Come on now. I mean, everybody's me, on social me. media is for different reasons, but I just don't. I'm going to be honest. I'll be so caught up in stuff that I'm doing. I even, you know, when I'm busy, I'm not even. Yeah, that's the last thing. People be telling me, oh, your, your husband posted. Oh, did he? Let me look. Because I ain't even seen it all day because I'm too focused on doing what I'm doing. No, oh, no, you don't fuck with my page. Me, no. Ooh, salty. Well, let's, let's get, no, 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 no. We are not going to pass that. Let's get to some no, solutions. No, 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 we're not going to pass that. We're, we're not going to, don't play me like that. Just, I support you just, everything you that you said, do. Not because what I'm saying is 
You just said that you 30 no. minutes a day. Yeah. You on thir- social media 30 and what minutes is the a thir- day. And what is the 30 minutes a day? And you ain't seen it's shit on my page. Mm. 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 Checking the you, business you, page. You on 30 Checking minutes a day, page. but yeah, you ain't seen Check. shit on my page. Mm. 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 <laughs> hey. So where's them 30 minutes is going? That's the, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> exactly. I could not. So let's get some solutions on basically. Um, that could have been just 30 minutes of that part of the day. I'm not watching in full 30 okay, minutes at a time. Explain, break yeah, because don't, don't, like, don't do that. I support minutes. everything that you do. Don't play. Okay. Well, not every. If it ain't. Let's get some if solutions. If it ain't appropriate. What, what, what's some, we need some solutions, some answers for the people. Like how, 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 what's the moderate way of showing something? Like how should they go about it? You know what I'm saying? What, their time? Like, or- if, if a person got a new car, how should they go about it? I mean, they happy about it. Should they post their new car? Should they... You talking about the people that, the people are that are watching about, or the people that are... We just talking to our listeners. I know, people. but I, what are you saying we're giving a solution for the person who purchased the car? Yes, like, how should they... Because they don't want to be that one flexing. They just want to be... No, you know I, what I'm saying? No, like, I don't think you should hide. That's a... Okay, let me tell you something. That may be an accomplishment for someone. And why should somebody have to hide their accomplishments? Exactly. They may have really worked hard for that car. They may have really been like, I w-, like when you first got the um the 7 Series BMW, like you've always wanted that car. So when you got that car, that was like an accomplishment for you. It wasn't about the material possession, but it was like basically a social stat. Like basically I'm at the point where I can afford this. So many times people are looking at things like they showing off, but no, it's an accomplishment for some people. So from, so it's your motive. I think it's your motive behind posting. Like if you like, oh yeah, they about to see me. They, then, okay. then it's okay. like you're bragging. So but if check your attitude, people check your attitude, check your attitude. And for the people that's watching, be happy for the next person. Be happy. Like, you know, Shout out to my staff. I ain't going to say her name because she don't like to be flashy. But her husband, it was so sweet. He bought her a Benz. I was happy for her. You know what I mean? My text to her was, congratulations. When am I going to get a ride in the whip? I was happy for her. This is how you should be if you're view. I don't care if you don't know somebody. Yeah. You don't know what they went through to get that. And I'm not saying I don't know their story if they went through something or not. I'm just saying you should be happy for other people. So if you're if you are the person who's posting, check your motives. Why am I flexing or is this really my lifestyle, right? I'm just showing you my life. If you're watching or listening, be happy for that person. And if they are flexing, turn the channel. You ain't got to watch them. She said turn the channel. <laughs> You ain't unfollow. Watch them. Unfollow. That means y'all. Unfollow. It's their channel because they watching TV. I know, but so turn the channel. Turn it's, the channel. But I'm saying it's still the, the, the way I'm giving you instruction how to turn the channel. It's called unfollow. But yes, that that's some good insight. Basically, um, check your motives on why you posting and what are you trying to trigger from people, um, and the people that are watching. Just be happy, I guess. But what if you can't be happy? Like it's it, like because some people is really deep down in them. It's like they so upset with their life, whatever and they that, see. And that's just is, what it was. So should that's what just should what it is. should they lock themselves in the closet or some shit? What should they do? If you struggling to find that 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 peace, like that inner peace, what you should got, they do? You, you got to do some soul searching. I was there. I ain't gonna even, you know, flex about it. I was there. I remember when I was a stay-at-home mom, and every remember when I was trying to get a job and I couldn't get a job for the life of me. And I was. Nah, I just thought you guys didn't want to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, no, nah, I used to do that in the uh, the county. Be people make you go put applications in, and I'd be like, man, I ain't putting no applications in. It just came with a bunch of fake ones. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> I was really trying to get a job. And I remember I would be thinking and I would be mad and I would see certain people and stuff would come to them so easy. And I'm like, why do I always have to fight for everything? Like, why do I always have to, you know, go through the ringer to get something so simple? And I would, and it was just like as simple as a job, you know what I mean? And I remember I used to be so mad, but then I had to ask myself and then I turned internally, I turned to God, like, well, obviously, if I can't get this, what are you trying to... I believe in seasons. And I really believe 
There's a time for everything. There's a time to rest. There's a time to grind. There's a time to build. There's a time to focus on relationships. There's a time to, I believe that this life, this journey is seasonal. And you could miss your time. You could miss your season because while you sitting there watching somebody and mad, instead of doing what you're supposed to be in that, in that season, I see a lot of people that have missed the opportunities and seasons because they wasn't, they was in the wrong season. They wasn't doing what they were supposed to do. And that season that I was in was a season of rest. I wasn't supposed to be doing anything. I was supposed to be at home with my and kids. Prepare. You know what I'm saying? There's because a there's a season for preparation. Because, hold on, let me say this before I forget. Because it's like um saying you you want a car. I need a car. I, I need a car, but you don't have your license. You should prepare and go get your license because why would you be blessed with a car if you ain't even got your license? I wrote three books, a screenplay. I, I have four books. One I just haven't released yet. I remember a friend told me, why are you doing so much? Why are you doing? And I'll never forget this. I remember listening to Tyler Perry. And he said, there was a time when the network, they needed they needed content. Nobody had content. But he had all these plays written. And when the door opened, he was ready. So there is season for purpose. And I told her when she told me that. And I hadn't even seen Tyler, the, the whole, with, you know, his spiel on what he was saying yet. And I told her, I said, because when the door opens, I'm prepared. I'm ready. You know, I have a screenplay just worked on. I'm ready. So when the opportunity comes, boom. So you got to know what season you're in. And if you're sitting back being envious of people, you're going to miss it. So I could have been like, dang, yeah, they got to, j-. and I could have went, but I went. Within, I said, God, why can't I obtain the things I'm trying? And God said, rest now because it's going to be a time where you don't have time to rest. And when I tell you that season came, it was crazy. So when you see somebody and you recognize, I think some, we all, if you be honest with yourself, I think we've all have gotten to the point or been through or maybe not and looked and was like, well, why they get to, and I can't. Even if it wasn't just like I'm envious of this person, you may have asked that question. Why they marriage striving and mine's not? Why they get to move this neighborhood and I didn't? You know, why they get to have good kids and my kids is, you know, defiant? Why, 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 why? why? Yeah, yes. but it's a lot of whys. People, let me tell you something about people. People do not tell the truth. There's somebody probably thinking and they know they do this, but they're, and I'm not telling you to tell somebody. Tell yourself. It, 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 it's no one's business. Tell yourself. And Uh, ask yourself, if I'm like that, what season am I in? How productive and focused should I be on this season that I'm in instead of trying to look at somebody else, envious of their lifestyle, what they're doing? Because let me tell you something. If they flex it or not, that's really none of your business anyways. Your business is to focus on what season you're in. I really believe if we all focus on our journey and the season that we were in, people will be more building and preparing than robbing. Amen. Amen. And if you, if you still need help or try to fix all this, navigate through all that, seek a therapist. You know what I'm saying? There's great professional therapists out there that could help you get through all the cloudy smoke. So you in your serious mode right now. You know what I'm, I'm telling y'all, he watching I'm, I'm try- me like I'm, I'm he really be, into hey, this thing. I'm trying to beat Theo from 92.3. To be I don't need you to be that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I need, be, no, I, don't, I need you to be. I need you to be Demetrius. Yo, this still ninety two point three to be. Y'all remember that? A lot of people like they what? don't. What the hell is ninety Theo? <laughs> That's what everybody thought Theo was black. I definitely did. I definitely. Oh, <laughs> uh, like whoa, who's Shout that? Out imagine to if he had ever you're at. Imagine he had social media back in the day. I only think his clout would have been because everybody just thought yeah, he was you black. Did you know what I'm saying? Black, like his voice. yeah, crazy. But yeah, um, so that's basically uh, just. Check, check yourself. Tap in with yourself and, and ask why because you don't want to always be that hater. You know what I'm saying? And you, think you don't, you don't want to be that flexor either. I don't think it's you know always a hater. I just think it's a lot of people that is, they're not even hating and they don't even realize that they're not haters. They're just unhappy with their lives. Yes. Unhappy equals hater. You mean? No, I ain't going to say hater. I mean, when you, when, you, when you wish to see somebody else fall, it's a hater to me. I, you know what? So it's a, it's a you, different. You could be unhappy, but when you wish somebody else failure and that's a hater. problem, that's a hater. That's a hater. You, but you could be a lot unhappy of times, by yourself. We like to throw the word jealousy around, but I don't believe in jealousy. I think 
you're not really jealous of a person. You're just mad about what they have that you can't have for Your yourself. Situation. It's really about it's, you. Yes. It's not even about the person. The person is just a mask and a scapegoat. It's really about you. So let's 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 go to the, uh, how people like to show off their their spouse, their marriage, and and just putting this whole fake facade out like on social media, like they just this lo- lovable couple. And- but what if they are? You talking about the people that's faking it? I'm just talking about people. Period. It's like you 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 trying to show. It's like you showcasing of you trying to paint this image. Wouldn't that be kind of like also trying to be boasting and flexing? Boasting. Also, no, 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 no. I think okay. Again, it goes back to motive some, because because I mean, you always posting you good, good, question, good, 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 good shit. But yet, y'all in the storm. Even though you don't want to put your business out there, you're still trying to paint this image of everything's perfect. Well, that's people that want to paint an image and want people to think they're living a life that they're not living. That's completely different. It's like you get you're caught up in the likes and attention that the positive feedback that your marriage is getting that's not real. That's completely different. But there are, I don't see anything wrong with if you're really in that and you showing that because that's inspiration for other people. Now, if you just lying, intentionally lying just for like, just because you want people to believe a lie, that's completely... But people and do it every day but, but this, I was listening to a podcast. I forgot the name of it, so I can't shout it out. But you can't so, steal their material. I'm man. not still. I'm about to say something. Oh. So basically, because this, this is even going back... Check this out. This is I'm even telling going everybody, back. do not reference me and don't use my name. That's plagiarism. So if you're going to say, you need to know who you who said it. Okay, whatever. But like I said, I'm not saying what they're saying. I'm just re- going to back what I'm saying. So basically, because you're going to go back with people taking stuff that doesn't belong to them, it, it just feel like you're showing it off. I'm going to take it. So we're going to go back to, um, I was listening to this podcast. I forgot the name of it. So he was saying, like, basically, when men show off their wives and how good they are, they have women out there now feel like I'm about to take him just to prove a point. Oh, I've seen you know what I'm saying? That do that. They don't want to do, but they, yet they seem I've had that, like basically, yeah, I've, I've oh, he's treating her so right. That. He's treating her so right. I'm about to prove a point that I could have him too. I've experienced it. You know I have. So the point is, I was saying that goes far back. Even you people taking jewelry or you, they feel like you showing off. I want to like prove wanna, a point to basically show you your man or your woman ain't who they think, who you think they are. And so why do you think people will go out their way so bad? Because, to become because, that because it's something within you that still goes back to you. Because let's say this man or woman is really showing off their wife and they really are into their mate, right? Because people can say that about you with me, right? But what does that have to do with you? Why are you so concerned about... I asked somebody, say, he he think his wife is all that. He keep... Po-. I said he should. Remember that? We gonna say their name. When they was mad about the, the dudes... The dude keep posting his wife. Like, oh, he, she thinks she... Oh, forget yeah, it. Yeah, but know. anyways... And my thought was... But my response was... But he should be... Showing off his wife. What is wrong with him showing off his wife or her showing off her husband? If you got an issue with somebody showing off their mate, it's not the couple, it's you. Because you're nowhere near in the situation. Why do you care? Yeah, why it bother you so bad? You got to ask yourself. And most of the time it's either, most of the time is because they don't have somebody or they don't have somebody like who they think the other person has. And that's what I'm saying. It, it falls deeper than materialistic things. You but know what I'm saying? It's you. It all goes and back yeah, to it you. It goes all go back to that person, and which you can't control. You Who know can't saying? control? The person it, can control it. No, the person can control it, but you can't. No, no you matter as what the you person do, can't no matter how it. you live your life, that's what I'm saying. No matter what you post, how you live your life, is always going to be somebody that want to take from you. You know that's what I'm saying? That's why I said it's inspiration and envy. You're going to have it no matter what, what level you're on. I don't even believe in levels, so let me scratch that what season you are in life, you're always going to have someone that's either inspired by you or envious. It, it's, it's just, there's no other way. Or you got the in-between, the balance that they Maybe just don't gonna, care. We could go even be a business because I feel like it's other businesses that's trying to take my brand out. And, but for what? You know what I'm saying? Please don't say the name. But for what? You know what I'm saying? It, it, and it's crazy because I'm just doing me and focusing on my lane, but yet it's constantly. You know what? That's being but I think that's the thing with us, which is so crazy, is that 
and I'm not even trying to hype us up. I'm being real. It's a it's a therapist group next door to me, and I've given her game. It's therapists. I don't know the people upstairs. I ain't seen them since COVID. But and I don't feel like we in competition because this is the thing. There's so many people that need therapy. So many. We can't service everybody. Just like she, I never think, oh, they next door, they're going to, I actually have referred people to them for certain stuff. And so to me, I don't look at, look, y'all going to think is, I say this too much and I really don't care, but I'm serious. No man or woman can close the door, open the door to God is already destined for me. So I don't believe in somebody being my, I'm my competition, you know, I should be greater than I was last year or yesterday. You're not my competition because you don't, you're not the, the, the decision maker of my destiny. So I don't understand because you're not like that either. You're not competitive. I watch you. You've never been, you don't care. He really don't care what people think. Like he really doesn't care. And if you got to know him in real life, like he's genuinely the type that's going to vote for you, supports everybody and wants you to win. Genuinely, no, oh, that's a coin right there, baby. Oh, because it's about just the first coin of the, the episode. <laughs> it was because it wasn't that many gems in here, you know what Ooh, I'm saying? Like, damn, shady, you gotta drop another coin for that coin. Shit. Shady, yes. Yeah, so, um, it, it's crazy. So, you could take this to every level in life, not just materialistic. You could go from your kids to your marriage to your business, no matter what. Somebody's gonna feel like you out here showing your goods. And you just really just living your life. So it's people going to be mad, period. It's just your intentions. What What's your motive when you do But stuff? everybody, too, is not mad about what you have. Some people just feel entitled. Like, what do you mean entitled? Why are you entitled in my pockets? You, you because you have even family members that's watching what you do, and they feel like you owe them something. So people are just, just like a stranger. They got a car. I should have that car. I'm going to take... Some people just feel like grandiose personality. They just feel entitled to your stuff. No, and that's something they need to deal with. Yeah, it, people, no, it does go thing, back to self, like, but I'm you, saying you it's need, not always hate and envy. Some people just feel like entitled. I could take your car. I could take your woman. I could take your man. I could. Some people just have an entitled mentality. I don't have to work for it. I'm going to take what you got. <laughs> you could take this ass whooping. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Okay, but uh, we going to wrap this episode Can up. Can I ask you a question? You know what I'm saying? Why do you always decide when it's time to wrap up? Because I, I, I can see you just going off in left field to, you know what I'm saying? I'm in left field. I'm trying to reel you in and tie it down and lace it up. You always okay, try. We, we, we can keep it going. No, I, no. Cause we, can, we can wrap it up. I just was thinking, like, why are you the determining factor when this ends? Because I didn't want to tell you because I'm the boss. Oh, okay. Okay. Bottom line. So you think. So we but, gonna wrap but go on this and close up. it out. Y'all can find me on all social medias. I'm Grindface. You can find her. Everything, Sunia Miles. And then um, we already discussed. You're supposed to be closing the show out. Um, and until next time, continue to break cycles. Work with us. Are we still trying to get all the kinks out? Let's go. <laughs>